I'm Bill, I'm with Calimoto TV. Welcome back to the channel, welcome back to the garage, and welcome to the final video of four with the 2022 BMW S1000 Single R. And today we are going through a full tutorial walkthrough on the Bren Tune flashing for your 2022. And this also works for your 2020, 2021 BMW S1000 double R. Uh, and so today we're going to be walking through everything you need to do. Now, it kind of seems a little bit complicated. There's a few steps that you have to do. You have to download stuff. You have to upload files. You have to download files. You got to turn the bike on. You got to turn the bike off. You got to get on your computer. There's a whole bunch of stuff that you got to do. So I'm going to walk you guys through step by step on how to do this. So First thing you're gonna to wanna to do is make sure you have your bike, a full battery uh, with the key and the trunk open and access to the OBD2 port. This is the port that's right under the seat. Just go ahead and unsnap that. You'll be needing access to that. Then you're gonna to wanna to get your Flashing Plus uh, by Brentune unpacked. And first we're gonna take it over to our computer. So you're gonna to wanna to have a laptop computer somewhere around to make sure that you can uh, you know, download all of the programs and stuff. I brought it into the garage just to kind of be able to be right here if I need to go back and forth because you will need to plug the tuner into the computer, update the tuner, then you're gonna have to go back to the bike, download a file, then you gotta come back to the computer, upload the file, then Bren Tune's gonna send you a couple questions, then you're, they're gonna send you a tune, which then you're gonna put on the tuner, then you're gonna go back to the bike like I said, it sounds complicated, but fairly easy. But I'm gonna walk you through step by step. So um, let's go over to the screen record on the computer and walk through the download process of the My Genius uh, app that controls the controller and the programmer. And then uh, we're gonna walk through all the websites that you're gonna need to do and all the questions that Brent Toon's gonna ask you to get everything uploaded. Then they're gonna send you a file, which I just actually received this morning. And uh, we're gonna download it, put it in the bike. Here are the bike sounds. So first what I wanna do is I wanna talk about what this Brent Tune is going to do. If you guys are considering a Brent Tune, especially for the S1000R, um, it's definitely gonna tune out or, you know, get you a better power, lineal power, better torque curve, everything is gonna be better power wise. Uh, they fix some things like your uh, clunky sh quick shifter. It's gonna quick little, shift a little bit quicker. Um, it also is gonna fix that high idle at start. If I started the bike, if it wasn't eight o'clock in the morning right now, uh, you'd hear it starts at like 2000 RPMs and it runs that way for about a minute or two and then it comes down, that's gonna be gone. Um, and then there's certain things like uh, we've done the flapper delete and the flapper delete is gonna throw a check engine light. Uh, our servo motor is gonna throw a check engine light. If you remove your OBD2 reader or your, uh, excuse me, your O2 sensors, it's gonna throw a check engine light. So this is going to eliminate all of that and then again, plus give you a better power range and a better torque curve and everything like that. So let's head over to the computer. Let's uh, see what we need to do there. Get the programmer back and forth and uh, we should be up and running in about 20 minutes i think so all right so the first thing you guys are going to do is in the tuner you're going to find a little flyer that talks about the my genius app you're going to go to the tiny url backslash my genius client.com and you are going to uh, download the my client so here you'll see you're going to go to proceed to site and then it's going to download your My Client, which is right here. So once the My Client downloads, you're gonna go ahead and open this up. And once this is opened up, you're gonna go ahead and see that there are a couple things about updates and, and file uploads and stuff like that. So right now, the programmer uh, is not plugged in. So the only thing you can do is update. So we're gonna go ahead and click the update button and we're going to click and update the My Genius software. So make sure that you've got the most up-to-date My Genius software. So you're gonna go ahead and click accept and let that thing download. All right, so the next thing you're gonna do is take the USB cord provided, plug it into the bottom of the tuner and then plug it into the computer. And now what you're gonna do is you're gonna update the tuner. 
okay? So you're gonna see that it's gonna utilize and it's gonna come up with a whole bunch of uh, different things. Uh, now your windows are gonna upload to download from My Genius and upload to My Genius. But first thing you're gonna do before anything is you're going to click the update and you're going to update your My Genius device. Go ahead and click OK, and then it's gonna go through the process again, and you wanna make sure that the uh, programmer is up to date. So we'll go ahead and accept the terms and hit accept, and then it's gonna go yes, we're gonna hit yes, and now what it's going to do is it's going to start updating your tuner. Okay, so our update is complete and now it's going to basically reboot your tuner and your handheld unit that is and we're going to get ready to go ahead and download what we call our log file from the bike. So let's go ahead and head over to the bike and download that log file. All right, with the cable from the tuner to the OBD2 plug on the motorcycle, you're going to go over and you're going to click, uh, let's see work on the screen try to get a little less glare and you're going to click work and it's going to identify what kind of motorcycle you want so you, it already knows you're at a bmw so you're going to click bmw and then you're going to click down to what series we are s series for an s1000 click ok and then what we're going to do is select which model motorcycle we have okay now it doesn't it goes in kind of chronological order as far as S1000, single R, first gen, second gen, third gen, fourth gen, or ECU gen, and then same, same thing with RR and same thing with XR. So for our single R, we're going to last the last one, which is the latest gen, and we're going to select OK. And it's going to go, do you want to connect? Yes, okay, we've got a stable battery. Switch on the dashboard. So you're gonna turn on the dashboard, click okay. And it's going to start communicating with the motorcycle. Switch off the dashboard, push okay, okay. Switch on the dashboard, okay. Switch off. And what we're doing is we're just basically pulling all of the information off the motorcycle for Bren Tune. So what they're doing is it's identifying um, what the basically the condition of the bike is and everything like that so all right so we've done that so now we are done over with the bike and the tuner so what we can do is go ahead and unplug the tuner and we are heading back to the computer and we're going to upload that protocol to Bren Tune and answer a few questions that they have for us all right, so now back to our laptop and what we're going to do is we're now going to download from My Genius. So right here, you're gonna download and you're gonna see on here, it's gonna to wanna to connect to it. Go ahead and click next. Go ahead and documents, sure, wherever you want it to go. Confirm, sure. And what we're gonna be doing is downloading our log over to be able to send over to Brentune. Again, the log is kind of like the, the basic information of the motorcycle. So Brentune can um, kind of, um, you know, we can go back, they know what bike it is, they know, they just know everything. It's just, so it's, that's why we do. So um, you're gonna see here that there's a my file, a little file comes up, here's my file. So you're gonna wanna basically kind of bookmark this so i'm going to move it over here and uh let's see what we're going to do is we are going to now go back to our web page and on the web page you're going to go over to a place called we transfer and uh we transfer.com you're going to want to send a file so you're going to go ahead and email to uh the bt dash moto or sales at btmoto.com i think whatever whichever email they're communicating to you with and then you're going to select the file so we're going to go into here and uh let's see 
Uh, we're going to click my file. So we're going to send them this file. Okay, so you're going to open and it's attached it. And then you're going to go ahead and hit everything and hit transfer. And I've already done this. So uh, we've already got our tune back from them. So then what you're going to do is you're going to go over to Brentune. Brentune's going to ask you um, a few questions. Uh, let's see if I can get in here and, and see what the questions are and what your protocol is. Um, you know, hey, you know, here's all the information that they want to know. So uh, now what you're going to do is go ahead and once you're out of here, you can go ahead and close this and close this. And uh, once you send them all that information, now what you're going to do is basically wait until they email you back uh, with your tune. All right, so uh, again, I kind of went a little bit forward on this because we had already, uh, I kind of talked to Brent Toon yesterday. I knew it was gonna, it was at two o'clock in the afternoon. So I knew it was right at the end of the day. And he said, look, I won't be able to get it to you till tomorrow morning. So I woke up this morning and voila, I have a tune for the bike uh, in my inbox. So now what we're gonna do is now that they've sent you your tune file, now we're going to upload that tune file into the tuner, which then we're gonna go over to the bike. And uh, hopefully this all goes smooth because um, everything I've shown you I actually did yesterday and I'm showing you today. Um, but from here on out, it's all kind of live. So let's hope it goes smooth. But uh, let's go back over to the computer. Uh, the device is already plugged into the computer. And now what we're going to do is we're going to update the transfer. All right, so now what we're going to do is upload to my genius. So we're going to go over here and we're going to select obviously the file that we want to write. So the file that they sent, let's see, we downloaded it. Um, okay, so you can see here it's the my G file. So we're going to down double click and get this to write into the tuner. So it's all here. Add new file. Yep. We just want to do that one. So we're going to go next and confirm. And now what it's going to do is now it should be writing the file to our handheld tuner to be able to provide the tune to the bike. So we'll go ahead and let this upload and then head over to the bike and get the tune into the bike. All right, so now we're back in the bike. We're ready to tune OBD2 plug into the uh, flasher. Now we're gonna go ahead and go work and it's going to be there and we're going to be writing and we are going to push okay. And it's opening the tune now. Yes, we're okay. And we're gonna switch on the dashboard. And we're gonna push okay. And we're okay. All right, switch off dashboard. So we're gonna go ahead and turn the bike off. Push OK. OK, we're connected and switch on. And this is pretty standard on most bikes. When you do the up map, it, it wants to do the same thing. It tells you to turn on and off the bike and it um, kind of updates in different sections. So and there's our my file. So now we're going to be programming. All right, so it's reached the end. It sounds like it's doing just a few more things. The bike has kind of uh, gone back to the normal display. It had some errors up there. So now it's telling you to switch off the dashboard. So we're gonna switch off the dashboard. Click OK. Yep, OK. Switch on the dashboard, OK. Switch off the dashboard, okay. And writing ECU complete, okay. All right, so we're all done here. We're back to the main menu, which means that we are done writing so we can disconnect the OBD2. And this, our bike is off. And uh, I guess we're ready for our first start. All right, so 
Seems like it's it. Let's <laughs> keep our fingers crossed. It's always kind of uh, unnerving to uh, your first start, right? Because you, obviously you're hoping everything goes through, um, everything connected, obviously technology nowadays. So fingers crossed, everything is good. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on our bike, let it completely initialize. Everything should be good. Screen, you should have no error messages except that I need fuel. <laughs> um, but outside that, uh, we're ready to start the bike. So now, uh, one of the things is this should start, let's make sure the key is stable. Uh, this should start and idle at a lower RPM now. So it's there you go. See, it's not up high. But um, there we have it. You guys, you guys have finally made it through video number four, the Bren Tune upload and everything. Uh, it's a little bit of work, but it's worth it. Look, the Bren Tune's not the easiest one, but what's nice about the Bren Tune is that you can tell them what you want. So that's also very nice. I told them, look, I've got the full exhaust system. I've kept the O2 sensors in it. I've got the new air filter. We've got the flapper delete. There's no error messages. We can fine tune however you want your bike. So that's what's great about the Bren Tune. The up map, it's like, you gotta pick what map you want and that's that. So uh, thank you guys for watching the final video, number four, the Bren Tune update. Flapper delete, everything's all done. We're ready to ride, so stay tuned. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit the subscribe button, smash that like button, and ring the bell notification. The bell notification is gonna give you future notification of future content here on the channel because we have a 2016 BMW S1000XR. We have a 2020 uh, Ducati Street Fighter. Bogna's V2 is missing because it is at Eddie with Shred Dog uh, getting a full custom paint job. So you guys have to stick around and watch the channel and hopefully this was informational. Again, this all really applies to R and double R bikes. It's basically the same exact platform now, motor wise. Um, tuning wise, cam wise, that's a little bit different, but as far as installing the exhaust, it's all the same. The tune, the flapper delete, all the same. So hopefully it was informational. Thank you guys again. Give me a thumbs up because uh, we worked on this thing for three or four days. Stay tuned because we actually have a very cool video coming up with Jack Roach, the Westby R3 Moto America bike. Uh, we're taking it over to the blasting lab and we're going to be blasting that bike. So uh, stay tuned. But thank you guys for sticking around and we'll see you guys next video. Bye, guys.